checked out and disconnected. That's how the alleged Walmart shooter looked on our Denver 7 cameras in court today. He faced a judge today for the three people he suspected of killing inside that Thornton Walmart. Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski is live at that Walmart off Grant Street. And so, Jen, what's the latest there? And in Shannon, two days later, you can see behind me the crime tape is still up in this Thornton Walmart remains closed. Now the man police say walked in here and began randomly firing, seemed disconnected as he faced family members of the victims for the first time in court today. Inside courtroom 404, family of the victims in the Walmart shooting got their first look at the man police say killed their loved ones. If probable causes. 47 year old Scott Ostrom showed very little emotion and seemed disconnected. He wore a light blue jumpsuit and only had one thing to say to the judge. Do you understand these rights? Yes. Ostrom is facing three counts of first degree murder, which means he could face the death penalty. But it's still unclear if District Attorney Dave Young plans to seek capital punishment. Obviously, first degree murder, that's one of the potential penalties. Carlos Marino is one of the three victims. His family was in the courtroom today. They were emotional as they saw Ostrom for the first time and walked out holding this sign demanding justice for Marino. So understandably, they're shattered. Uh, they're a mess. Um, they probably listened to about half of the things I've told them just because they're still in shock. The district attorney says they plan to add on even more charges for other victims who were shot at inside the Walmart. There's going to be several counts of attempted murder, uh, and we're talking about many, many, many people. We're not talking three or four people. And Now, the defense also made a rare request today to keep this Walmart as a crime scene to preserve evidence. The judge responded that he has no authority over Walmart or what police do. Ostrom will be formally charged at another hearing next Monday. Reporting live in Thornton, I'm Jennifer Kovaleski for Denver 7. Thank you, Jen. And there